Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode of our career series back at Yarmouth. Um, a lot of people have been telling me how to say it properly. Yarmouth, I think, is how you say it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's head in. I think what I was going to do this episode is go to the shipyard, go to available. Some of you guys have suggested us buying a different boat um, to be able to do some um, long line fishing, some net fishing. Something other than just um, deep lining, so that way we can get the prices of our deep line fish back up again. So we can potentially buy the Lenore, which has um, 10,000 kilo storage up to 20,000. It does 12 nets, 12 hooks, 1,000 hooks, and 75 meters. Or we could go with the Selfie, which is 10,000 uh, storage size standard, maximum is 18,000. It can do 8 2,000 hooks on 8 75 meters nets. So the hooks are a little bit bigger. And less. How's the. Oh, uh, the quota's a lot better on the Lenore, too. I think we'll go with the, the Lenore. Um, we might go and do some net fishing. Um, we don't want to do the line mechanic. Let's go rigging. We'll go for some net fishing because I haven't done net fishing properly yet. So we'll get rid of that. Um, I think we're going to need extra crew. Uh, you do have any? You don't have any undamaged nets? Yes. Um, so net haul. I think we just need one person, maybe two. Not quite sure. We'll have a look and see who else we can we can find. We'll try and get it done by ourselves. Um, if we can actually, um, oop, wrong one, available. Um, if we can bring the nets in ourselves, I think would be a lot better. Um, net hauling is pretty bad. Machine gutting, hand gutting, not very good. Uh, Josh, pot baiting and setting, net hauling's not bad. How about Derek? Josh has definitely got the best net hauling so far. The Josh and Pearl are the same. What about Emma King? Um, yeah, Emma's got better. Let's go Emma. We'll hire Emma. We'll go on board. So Victor, see net hauling's not very good, so Emma can haul the nets with us. And um, Victor can maybe do some cooking or something. Let's go to fish market, fishing gear. We'll buy as many nets as we can. Beautiful. Obviously we don't need to to um, bait anything up. See, swordfish and tuna is quite low at the moment. Cod is 864, which is huge. We need to go and find some cod. It's really what we need to find at the moment. Um, I don't think that really helps us, does it? No, not at the moment. Let's go to the bar. Um, we'll purchase that. It is mackerel, which doesn't really help us. We'll look at the upgrades quickly. I always like to do the engine and storage if we can. Wow, that's quite... Quite an amount of money in it. I think it's going to be worth it though. I really think it will be. Um, our autopilot will definitely do. It's only three grand, and we'll also do our boy. Just a total of seventy-two thousand. Now the sonar. Yeah, I think we need to do more than fifty meters. We definitely need to at least do the two fifty. So we'll add that for now. We can upgrade that again later on. Alright, there we go. So let's um, jump on in. Wait for our screen to change. There we go. I'm not sure why it's at a kilometre. Should only be. Oh, it's only 250 metres deep. Alright. Let's head out of Yarmouth. Let me grab our phone. You can go. Actually, nobody needs to cook. Never mind. He can set the nets, I think. Alright, let's change back to the map. It's a nice little boat. It's not overly big, but still, it's um hopefully going to bring in some decent money for us. So we might rotate from uh, deep line fishing to net fishing, go back to deep line, back to nets, vice versa. We'll do a couple episodes of nets, a couple episodes deep line, depending on the prices. I think that's going to be a huge part of it. So, uh, so look at the prices. So tuna and swordfish is low. 
Uh, Tuna's pretty good in Lunenburg. Lockport, see, they're still pretty low. They're not, not great. But, you know, Cod at the moment and Pollock is quite high. Look at Lunenburg. Cod and Pollock. That's what we need to go for at the moment. Definitely. Cod and Pollock can go to Lunenburg to sell. And we could make great money out of that. Huge amount. All right, a lot of you guys said as well we need to fast travel more. So we'll um, get in at fast travel. Have a look, where was the mackerel? See, down here, that's where I was going to head, I think. Um, obviously, I don't know the best spot for us to go, but I think down here, somewhere where the mackerel actually is, you know, it wouldn't hurt. So let's go fast travel to here. I want to keep an eye on the boat that way in case we unlock anything. Ah, uh, the selfie was up in here, I think. Yeah, in here somewhere, and the Moby D's in here somewhere if you guys haven't unlocked them as yet. But one's in here, and one's in there. I was planning on buying the Moby D, but it's obviously over a million dollars, so just don't have that money at the moment. Alright, so we'll head down past all this swordfish. Then we'll head, you know, just straight down here, and we'll see what we can sort of get. I know it's going to be quite deep this area compared to what we have on the sonar um, so maybe actually let's stop around about here there we go uh, we'll change our screen let's um, grab some lights interior lights uh, we'll go our work lights let's change our screen we'll see what we can find let's actually go with um, throw this up straight onto autopilot as fast as we can go and we'll keep an eye on um, what we find you can go ahead and prepare the, the nets I don't know if we're going to find anything in this area but I guess we'll um, wait and see we really need to find something decent before we go setting the nets I know down where we had the tuna and that sort of stuff, there was definitely some fish in that area. We just haven't brought a good enough sonar, I don't think, to get to those depths, so... We'll just have to wait and see what, what pops up here. So we're currently at 250 metres deep. And then when we head over this area here, that's probably going to drop. Well, let's go full speed, I don't know why. It's not cold full speed. We're literally not seeing anything at the moment. I'm hoping there's going to be something in the area. The boat's not bad, the Lenore. If you guys have got an idea for the name of the boat, you know, leave it in the comment section. Might change the, the name of the boat, as well as the name of the Mickey as well, if you guys have got any ideas, suggestions. I think we're out of luck where we're at the moment. Let's um, travel down to here and have another look. Let's see what we can find. It'll take a little while for this to update, I think. The only thing we could get... Um, yeah, the only thing we could get on the tips was the mackerel, so let's just head down here. Right, there we go. How is he going? He's not tired, is he? Nah, he's still an idle, so it's fine. Right, let's, um, yep, that's on. I guess we're just going to have to go along and see what we can pick up. Like, there's some redfish there, but I want to wait for some cod and some pollock. That's what we really want to get, to get that money up. Make it worthwhile. I don't know what's best, 100 metres or 250, I think 100 would be fine at this speed. As soon as we seem to see some cod or some pollock, throw, it, throw a line in and or net in, I should say, and um, see how we go. 
This looks like there's very minimal fish where we are at the moment. Really hoping we can find something. So we're coming up on where they found the mackerel three days ago, so I think if there's mackerel in the area, there we go, there's a cod, we'll throw one here. I think if there's mackerel in the area, there should be other fish too, so no guarantees, but let's throw this in and hope the cod's heading this way. It looks like there's some silver hake as well. Run out those nets. Runs it out at five knots, obviously. There we go. Run further forward. We'll wait till we see something else on the sonar. Hopefully, we can get something when we get close to where this mackerel is. What do we have? I can't remember what we have. Uh, 12 nets. See, it could, they, the fish could be deeper than what we're actually at at the moment, so it's just a matter of whether we just throw it in and hope for the best, or might just throw it in and hope for the best. If we don't see something soon, might even just throw in, you know, six nets and, and see if there's something in the area. If there is and we're getting a good haul, then we can throw the other six in. Or even all 12, if we don't damage any nets, we can throw all the rest back in again and then head to port and come back out. So a few of you guys have been asking for more than one episode a day. Um, potentially I can do that, but it's up to you guys. If I get enough views and likes and comments, I'll definitely head towards having uh, two episodes per day. But um, as I said, that's going to depend on you guys. So make sure you hit the like button. Um, leave a comment and, and share as well. Let's get some more subs. We're nearly at 30,000 subs, so... Got a card on there. So that'd be good if we get to 30,000 subs too. We're pretty close to it. Alright, so net three going in. With a cod there. As I said, we might throw six nets in. Come back to the start and have a look and see. See what we can find. Silver hake there. So we are in really, really deep water, so it might have paid for us to get that, um, get the better sonar that went a little bit deeper. But I think we'll still hopefully come away with some fish. I think there's some pollock or haddock down here. As soon as we can, we'll throw the next net out. Oh, there we go. Just hope we can um, reel in these fish without having any damage on our nets. Probably the most important thing. So I still can't work out if that's Haddock or Polly. Hope you guys are having the same trouble. It's a short nose version, whatever that may be. So we're just about at our marker, but we'll continue to go. We've nearly used half the tank of fuel to get out here already. It's quite a bit. Obviously, with our fast travelling, it um, uses a lot of fuel. But we'll throw our next one. But when he's done preparing that one, we'll throw him away. Get him to go back and rest. So if he sets another one, then we'll have um, five here, one set ready to go, which we don't want. Alright, arrived at our final waypoint. So we could even go over and throw um, six nets out where the tuna was over here. There's another boat um, straight ahead over here somewhere. Not that I can see what it is. Uh, it's too far away to be able to see from here. It's like the sun's starting to come up, at least 7am. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful sunrise though. I mean, the graphics on this game, 
I think they're great, honestly, I do. I'm sure there's a few little graphical glitches here and there, but I mean, with the water and the moon and the sun and all that sort of stuff, it's, it's bloody amazing. Alright, let's turn off our work light and interior light now that we're finished setting down our nets. Where's that boat? Just over here. I can't quite see what it is. Right, there we go. So I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile heading over to that tuna spot and dumping down some nets. I don't know. Right, let's head back up here and get ready to reel in our first line. Give me this thing. There we go. That'll do. So there's not, so there's not many boats down here to be honest. They're probably um, trawlers and stuff, I would think. But there's not many boats down here. Uh, where are they all? They're all like a lot closer up through here, which is interesting. There could be some decent fish in this area. I'll have to wait and try and get some more, um, some more intel, I guess. Um. Have a look quickly. What are we at? Uh, an hour. Really, two hours if we skip through 17 hours. We should be at the perfect time to reel them in. Yeah, we are. All right, let's um, grab Emma, throw her on net haul. Let's throw on some lights and let's um, head towards our first net. I don't think our searchlight's really going to help much. Yeah, oh, actually, it won't hurt. It won't hurt to have it. Alright, let's go forward. The throttle actually goes really slow now, which is good for some of these boats. Alright, let's hope that we can reel this in and have a decent amount of boat on a decent amount of boat on board. A decent amount of fish on board. If we can get like three or four thousand per line would be pretty good really anything at the moment would be handy. Alright, there we go. Haul the net. So I don't know how to do this, so left mouse button, start. Start what? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got to press it when it's in that spot. Okay. Ooh. It's actually quite um, interesting how it works. There's like a little spot in the middle you need to get. Beautiful. Grab a quick screenshot. We're getting some fish on board. How many, I don't know, but this might be a pretty good spot for us. I want to see a lot more cod coming on. Pollock. There's some more cod. As long as I get good, I don't care about anything else. Like obviously perfect is the way to go, but if we get good every time I'll be happy. I don't want to get any okays or any misses. That would be terrible. I hope we don't get like 10,000 kilos. I mean, it'll be a good thing, but it'll fill the boat way too bloody quick. Uh, yeah, nearly... Jeez, 8,000. 397 kilos, which that is quite interesting. Probably cod. Got the most of, which is good. I mean, so it's not a bad spot. So if we throw down... Um, here, we'll just throw down cod so we know that there's fish in this area a decent amount we may end up filling the boat on three nets which means we'll have to go back to port dump off what we've got come back and get the last three which might mean that we're going to get very minimal off these other three nets up here but we're just going to have to wait and see uh, where's um, 
big W can bring him out and do a little bit of repair, a bit of damage there. I don't think Victor's any good at hand gutting. Not really, has Emma. Yeah, Emma's pretty good at hand gutting. So I might set her to hand gut as well while we head head back to, to town. Um, and then once we get there I'll be able to hand gut myself because she won't get it all done, I don't think, before we get there. Hopefully, um, we'll have another good amount of fish on here, but hopefully, I definitely didn't expect 8,000. I'm expecting maybe 4,000 tops. It was definitely a surprise to get that much on the boat. All right, so we've got 15 on again. When it comes up, you can see at the top it says 2 of 15 on the net. So they're definitely full nets. Silver Hake. They're easy to spot. It's just a Polygon Haddock that I still don't know. Oh. I need like a pitcher in front of me every time. That's a cod. Definitely I know the cod. Easy. Redfish. Silver Hake. Cod. Easy to spot. I think this time, with the amount of money that's at some of these ports at the moment, it would be good to go um, trawling if we had the money. We're trying to fill the boat with cod. I mean, how good would that be at the current prices? That would be great. Right, here we go. Still got a couple to go. So I'd like to have our guys just do this. Instead of me having to come out and do it, but um, we'll do it for the first time out, and then after that, geez, we'll get um, we'll get Victor out helping. I think. What's he? Yeah, exactly, hundred percent already. So that's fine. It's pretty much full, but oh, the boat is going to go slow now with all this weight on. They still haven't quite fixed the way the water comes through the bottom of the boats. It's a bit of a bummer, but. It is what it is, it's what, nearly 2 o'clock in the morning, so by the time we get to port back again, it's going to be sunrise and these other nets are probably going to be close to 24 hours or more, unfortunately. And hope we have enough fuel to make it. Or well, while fast travelling, I suppose. So yeah, 5.5 knots, it's quite slow when it's got some weight on. So let's go, bring you out to haul the net. You two might as well do this next one because it's um... No, we only need 3,000 kilos, so... Having me do it is probably the reason why we got, you know, a decent amount as well. Right, so we'll slow right down and turn. There we go. Let's go out and, uh, and um, have a look at these guys. Yeah, see the same sort of issue, the water's still coming through the floor, but I mean it's um it's not a massive issue I guess. I wanna grab a bit of a screenshot here. Oh, missed it, completely missed the fish. I wait for the cod, there we go. I think I missed it again. Might end up with a thousand screenshots here. There we go, that should be enough. Alright, let's jump back in the main captain's chair. There we go, 617.2 kilos was lost. That wasn't too bad, so obviously they don't do it as good a job as me, but... Um, Alright, you go there, you go there. Let's um, see if we can... So where are we heading again? Um, Lunenburg, wasn't it? Yeah, Lunenburg. Haddock is not as good. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Lunenburg we're going to go to. Haddock. It's Polycon Cod, so we definitely want to go to Lunenburg. Uh, should be... Oh, up here. 
Actually, no, where's Lunenburg? Oh, all the way up there. Not a chance. Um, Dennis, Lockport, and Yarmouth. Yarmouth, I should say. Yarmouth, Lockport, Dennis Point. Yeah, we're definitely going to go back to Yarmouth. I know the Pollock's not very high price, but the cod is a huge amount, so we're going to have to go there. If we can make it, that's 14 hours. Those other nets are going to be ruined by the time we get back. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, it is what it is, I guess. We can't, um, can't help these things. All right, let me get out of here. Oh, sorry, Emma. In you come. Go and have um, something to eat. How much is left? Oh, she gutted a little bit. Not a massive amount, but let's um, let's get the rest gutted. I don't find this that hard, so I think the quicker you do it, the better. And if you can actually do it, that was terrible. Um, if you can actually do it in port, it's a lot better for you as well, because it's not as choppy to see. God, I'm not doing very well at the moment. Oh, that was terrible. So was that. So obviously you can take your time if you want to, but I mean even with me rushing through, like it's still still getting four four to five stars, so I'm not that worried. It does take forever though, look at that, we're only gutting what eight, two, four, eight. Eight. Doesn't seem like we're gutting much each and every time we do it. is why I like to rush through it. That, oh, that was crap. That's probably worse than hers. Two star, three star. I really got to slow down here and take my time, I think. Pretty sure um, in Barrent C it didn't take us this long to gut this much fish. One thing, obviously, as I said to you guys previously, is you don't worry about where the knife is, just worry about where your mouse cursor is. Follow that line as best you can. Like the knife never looks like it's following that line properly, and it doesn't really matter, so... Some silver hate, look how small they are. Probably why you don't get much when you actually catch them, because they're tiny. Well, they're pretty good as far as length goes, it just mean like tiny as in... No, they don't have much fat on them. Oh, one star. Here I am, Mr. One Star. Should be the last one. Alright, good. We're all done. Now um, we can dock here. Yes, we want to sell our fish. So, cod is up from $5, which is good. Attic is down. Pollock is down. Redfish is up. Silver hakes down. Still 110,000. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Um, let's go maintenance. Purchase the fuel. Go upgrades. We want to grab... Yeah, I want to grab the better radar. And then we want to go to the sonar. And grab the better sonar as well. Um, okay, check out. Next thing I want to do is go to the shop. And grab the better knife is going to help us as well and then also go to the bar uh, silver hake we'll have a look at that and see what that is on the map just here there you go see they're actually really close like we're all the way down here i mean should we go and get these or should we just leave them they're probably going to have nothing in them anyway to be honest uh i don't know i think what we'll do is we'll leave these guys down here um and just call it a loss with those I mean it's not gonna hurt us too much what it's gonna be 900 bucks we're gonna lose doesn't matter I, mean, I don't want to leave nets out there I don't want to leave dead fish out there that sort of stuff but it's really not worth us going and getting it unfortunately so um right there, guys what we'll do is we'll end the episode here if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of this series so far and if you want to see it continue if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.